Hey folks, exercise number 10 is all about a bag of flour falling. I brought footage into Photoshop to study prior to doing some sketching on paper. I think this is really important because you don't need a fancy computer setup to improve as an artist. So here's the game plan. I'd like to loop the animation so the bag will fall and hit something before it exits the screen. I'll include a sliding platform at the top that brings in a new flower bag at the start of every video loop. In Harmony, I'm creating a layout sketch with a path of action. I'm drawing in key poses while thinking about the timing. Don't forget, more drawings that are closer together will give you slower action. More spacing and or fewer drawings will translate to quicker movement. Here's some real-time footage of the drawings being sketched. I'm doing straight ahead animation because I already have a sense of the timing that I want. And here's the final version of the rough pass. Please note that I've animated on separate layers so I can have more control. As the bag enters the frame, I have the platform on a motion tween with a drawing layer that's parented to it. This is helpful to get some overlapping action and follow through into the first pass of animation while only drawing a few of the flower bags in the first segment. Here's a look at the timeline. In the second part, I have all the frames of drawn animation on a separate layer. I have this layer separated because there is still some motion tween animation of the platform moving as the bag starts to fall. Here's another look at the timeline. So there are a million ways to do this. So I encourage you to adapt these concepts and ideas to fit your needs. Here's the final rough pass and a cleanup pass. As mentioned in previous videos, I hope you try to study some reference, do some sketching, and develop a game plan as you animate. Do me a favor, go give this stuff a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.